Okay, Cancer, let's talk about it. You probably have already been feeling the effects of this crazy astrological event that sometimes gets really bad press. But I am here to set the record straight for my lovely Cancerians and inform you of everything that you need to know about this Mercury's retrograde, as well as I'm going to help you navigate it, survive it. So if that sounds good to you, Cancer, make sure that you are tapped in, tuned in, Leave me a little residue of your energy on my thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments that you are tuned in. There may be a surprise for you, okay? Welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe, you guys. I'm She, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining me. You can check out the description box for all the important information that you want to know about me, the channel, personal readings, yeah, um, <clears throat> personal reading link is down in the description box below it's a retrograde it's a mercury retrograde so you may definitely be finding yourself wanting to use that link it's down there for you boo okay um one-on-one -on -one consultations all that good stuff coaching mentorship everything can be found in the description box below cancer but cancer okay let's get into the real tea of the thing let's you know we are gathered here today for a real reason all right Y'all, I'm not even going to, you know, you know your girl B, Boss Lady B. I ain't going to lie to you over here. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am going to try to be nice about it because I'm a cancer. But, um, yeah, cancer. You going to feel this retrograde. I'm sorry. I am going to tell you that you are going to feel this, all the cardinal signs. So, if you are a cardinal sign, you have cardinal sign placements, especially in your big three, baby. Just hold on okay all right this is going to be an interesting ride all right this mercury retrograde you guys is happening in cancer's 10th house okay and we've already been talking about a cancer the 10th house in astrology is all about your public image your professional pursuits and aspirations your ambition all of that you know career think career all right um so you can expect to see some really big shifts happening for you cancer around your career front all right how you're seen in the world how you want to how you want to be seen in the world the legacy you want to leave behind you're going to find yourself um you know rethinking some things when it comes to that career all right this is this is the time where some people may be deciding to leave their job you guys we got the new moon happening too it's, it's just going to be a lot going on and it is more so going to be around your career cancer um like i said somebody may decide you know what i'm tired of this job i'm i'm fully tired of it i'm ready to leave you know somebody this may look like you know what i'm tired of not working let me get back in the workforce you know this could look like someone saying okay i'm finally ready to start my entrepreneurial journey like this is just you're gonna be your the way that you work before the Rachel Gray is not going to be the same after okay um spirit is really in this in this energy uh this retrograde you guys is really really causing calling you to focus on kind of rethinking um rethinking your plans actions motions around how you work how you make your money you guys um i will tell you conversations at work could be really really important these could be really nice conversations where we're talking about promotions changing your job title okay but i do on the flip side because you know remember i said i'm gonna tell you the truth and I, i'm i'm gonna give it to you real raw and uncut I'm going to need you to be careful, Cancer. This is a Mercury retrograde. Mercury is all about communication. I need you to be be aware, be aware, and beware of misunderstandings with your superiors, your bosses, people, coworkers, people in um, business partners, whoever you are in communication or connection with around your career, your business, whatever. Just be mindful of that, okay? Any contracts, anything of that sort of matter going on, Cancer, read, reread, triple read, okay? Check, recheck, double check, make sure, okay? I just need you to make sure, okay? This is really, really important, okay? Um, Like I said, Cancer, you are going to feel this retrograde. I mean, that's just simply put, you're probably going to feel challenges that are going to force you. When I say force, I mean that, okay? They're going to force you to rethink, okay, how you've been putting yourself out there, um, 
it's going to force you to even get down to the nitty gritty of those self-sabotaging patterns that you're having that are keeping you from putting yourself out there, Cancer, because this is in your career house. Like, <clears throat> there's a new beginning starting in your career, just period. Okay, it's time to explore. Um, and like I said, these challenges are going to come in and force you, all right? But I'm, I'm here to let you know to just dust yourself off and try again. Nothing is going to nothing's gonna take you out of the game. It's just trying to make sure that you get it right, okay? Um, so just dust yourself off and try again, Cancer. I want you to do that. Um, you know, this looks like new ideas around writing, writing a book, starting your own business, taking steps towards, you know, your career goals, um, connecting with mentors, coaches to help you on your journey. Like this is, this is what this retrograde is going to kind of be focusing on for cancers. Okay. Like I said, you are going to feel this one. It's going to be from April the 1st to the 25th i believe and then you know of course we have the shadow period but um yeah cancer a time, look a time of releasing so there is gonna be like there is an ending and I, as i said that i caught 555 so you guys change just be ready for this retrograde to kind of change there are some aspects astrologically that are kind of helping kind of ease this energy um and how you feel it but i'm just like i said i'm not gonna sugarcoat it i'd rather you be over prepared than under prepared okay so i just need you to be ready all right and like i said when things try to come up and challenge you and frustrate you and work this is the time you know like if you're at work just make sure you're on your p's and q's at work just make sure you are uh communicating effectively you're getting all the communications and all that check your email check your messages all that cancer like i just want you to be prepared okay all right um so we're gonna hop into the cards that was just a little bit of the astrology i'm gonna, I'm gonna hop into the cards and see what other insights can come up but look a lot of um i feel like a lot of thinking is gonna be going on during this time and it could be frustrating because you know with this mercury um this mercury's retrograde it kind of slows things down because it gives you a chance to kind of really review and reflect and you know um take a take another look an another gander over and i feel like because there's this energy seal of something new and budding for you it's that conflicting energy that i talked about in a previous reading where april could be a little frustrating because of that but like i said you know it's not gonna kill you it's just it's just challenges to try to get you to basically make make the right decision okay basically so um let's get some more insight you guys i was really having a big old battle between which cards i wanted to use but i think i'm gonna choose these and then i'll just go back i don't know we we just gonna vibe okay cancers check in tap in my lovely cancerians let's see the overall energy for this retrograde for cancer spirit overall energy and theme for this retrograde i'm not gonna take those overall oh so look we got the um self-care card popping out you guys the south note is the underlying energy what kind of um the south note is kind of your comfort zone okay and so i feel like this retrograde is going to bring you out of your comfort zone and the reason why you may be feeling challenges or the like a a little bit of advice on how to not feel these challenges as much is basically to not have fear of the new okay don't be trying to cling on to anything that is familiar don't try to cling on to the old don't try to cling on to old situations especially when they're being taken from you or being like eclipsed out they are you know ending all right don't resist that change don't just because you thought it was comfortable you it felt good it's time it's time for things to get shaken up in regards to your career like no more and i'm not saying you, you're not going to be comfortable but honestly like cancer it's it's this gonna be a good time to sit back and really evaluate are you comfortable are you really comfortable or are you have you just adjusted to this level of comfortability you know what i mean so self-care is the overall 
um energy overall theme of this retrograde cancer you're gonna want to focus on taking care of yourself all right you may feel like and i know i get zapped around this time sometimes too um i think i even had a short and it's been like circling around again where i was like y'all i'm tired like your energy is zapped your energy levels could definitely be low around this time so just be mindful and that's why i said it's going to be frustrating because it's like on the flip side there's like this antsy energy to get up and start something new get things done okay so um just make sure be sure to take plenty of care of yourself cancer um especially you know when your body tells you that energy is low like listen to it all right this is going to be a time of like cle clearing out too i feel like this is spring cleaning cleansing out but this isn't just in a phys physical sense this is in a spiritual um, I just caught 1010 too. A spiritual sense, a like an inside sense, okay? You're going to be clearing out some stuff, all right? You may find yourself kind of wanting to be alone during this time, wanting to just kind of, you know, because I said it's going to be heavy mental energy going on where you're doing a lot of reflecting, um, <clears throat> you know, and I'm a person, I got the sun in my 12th house, so um yeah i be i be needing to be alone and so y'all may be on this wave too where you're gonna need to be alone to like recharge to recharge all right and get your energy back to make sure you know you're back ready to you know get up and fight i feel like at the end of this retrograde it's gonna be like put your feet on the ground and be ready to run you know we kind of slowed things down during this retrograde but be ready to jump into action when, um when it comes to around your career afterwards and yeah it's taking you out of your comfort zone a lot of the something about the past is going to definitely be relevant around your career life business life whatever um and some kind of way it's affecting the the past could somehow be affecting the present or future there's something that you need to address and um <laughs> don't make any worry no never mind it's gonna be like it's gonna be front and center like you're not gonna be able to miss it okay Let's actually see what in our career since this is and this is happening. This Mercury um, retrograde is happening in the sign of Aries. We got a lot that's happening in the sign of Aries, but this retrograde is in the sign of Aries. Um, and so this fiery kind of energy of kind of like action and starting, you know, and, and I feel like it's definitely going to be kind of counteracting with, you know, feeling low energy or feeling low, low, de um, depleted you know feeling like i don't have anything else and and that could definitely feel you could definitely feel like this around your career and if you're feeling like that it's it's that's the challenge that's trying to get you to do some soul searching or readjust what you're doing in, in your career life what in cancer's career needs to be revisited or reviewed what so and look the past <laughs> so yeah cancer something from the past in like it's time to really sit back and look back over what has happened um and i feel like to the past <clears throat> situations that could need to be reviewed or things that have hurt or scarred you that you could be suffering with that you may not even realize why do i feel like someone someone from your past may come and apologize because it does feel like maybe you are a victim of some sort in the past cancer and someone could be wanting to come in and ask for forgiveness could be wanting some type of compassion <clears throat> um they could be definitely wanting to communicate and speak their heart making some sort of emotional confession and i feel like honestly for some this could be in a romantic kind of way where someone from your past is affecting um it's like something from a past connection needs to be worked out or let go or whatever um, however it resonates in your personal life to kind of move forward so let's see what's an interruption that this retrograde may cause for cancer what is a interruption um so cancer there's the doubts there's the doubts i feel like um the doubt the doubting the negativity um you know, and I see these crows. It's like these crows fly around when there's death, okay? And death is not, I know death can kind of be scary, sad, and kind of taboo or whatever, but death always leads to rebirth cancer. And I feel like 
Um, that's what this retrograde is kind of having you sit with. Some of your worries, your doubts, your negativities. Um, there may be some type of missed opportunity or something that, that you feel like you missed before cancer that's going to come back around. Okay. There may be some type of, you remember how I tell you, you got to stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. There may have been an opportunity, opportunity, destiny could have been knocking at your door, but you were not ready before cancer. And so this retrograde basically is coming in and saying, you know what? I'm going to make sure cancer ready this time. Okay, if I got to wake her up, brush her teeth, put on her clothes, and put her on the school bus on time myself, she gonna get there. That's basically what the retrograde is saying for you, Cancer. Like, um, but these doubts that you're having, the negativity that you're having, and I feel like the negativity that you're having around your career is the things that are gonna come up that are gonna be pressing and challenging and negative are going to force you to make a change, make some type of adjustment. Like, you're not happy, Cancer. You're discontent in some type of way when it comes to your career. And I'm not saying that you're miserable but i'm saying that you are not moving towards your true north you're not following you're not being truly authentic um there's something that has to be revisited around your career and how you are putting yourself out into the world um or not however that has to be revisited reevaluated rethought like there has to be a really a really big shift around it and i feel like honestly at the end of this retrograde where you not where you may have come in feeling not hopeful and expect Especially, like I said, you may face, face these challenges throughout the retrograde that makes you feel like, you know what, I'm trying and like I ain't getting nowhere or it's like working against me. And so that could create doubt that could create that seed of doubt that could take that hope and faith away in the situation. But I feel like once this energy passes, that's where you're going to um, see that, you know, it was really just kind of a phase to get you to look at something differently. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know how, um, this division that I just saw real quick, you know how at the doctor's office or at the eye doctor office, when you be at the little thing at the little, and you put your eyes on it and then they like close one side to make, to see if you can see what one side. Of, yeah. That's what, that's what this retrograde is basically doing. Like making you look and make sure checking all your, checking all your angles. That's why I said, make sure checking, checking, double check and recheck everything. All right. Um, but the world is here and it talks about some type of karmic completion. That's why I say cancer, whatever is trying to end, whatever is trying to culminate in your life during this time, whatever is trying to exit to, you know, let it happen. Okay. Let it happen because it's an achievement. Honestly, you've karmically closed out a cycle and it's time to move to another one. And that actually is success. All right. Um, and I feel like too, with this world energy, it talks about having achievement apps after your obstacles. So that's what I'm saying. You know, um, Mercury retrograde, may throw a little couple obstacles but afterwards you're gonna see that um that success and feel fulfilled and where you were feeling discontent because yeah this is like this four cups energy where you're feeling discontent um that's what's gonna change and that's why it's like i'm telling you somebody you may already like i said you already may be in your space where it's like i don't like my job i know i don't want to be here in the next three months six months dang sure don't want to be here in the next year right it's gonna be exacerbated i'm just gonna tell you and this can manifest in more ways than one it can really really irritate you because what it's doing is making you <laughs> like all right you say you you say you don't want to be here you say you want to do this you say okay you want to start your own business you've been talking this you've been talking that you've been thinking about it you've been writing this down you've been saying that like let's put it in motion let's make it happen and let's drop all the stuff that's getting in the way of us making it happen that's what this retrograde is here it's like a pit stop all right we was running the track you know but we need to we need to pull over get a little pit stop make sure the tire's still good they ain't ball so we you know rolling in, in in danger zones and all that that's what's happening cancer and so take these doubts try not to let them bog you down take this energy as a roadmap to where you need to go okay let's actually see what advice comes out for how to cope how um can cancer best cope during this time what's the advice for cancer on how to cope during this retrograde spirit um, so we got structure that wanted to slide out. So look, building slowly, um, slowly, but surely it's like, don't try to be in a rush, work on a, a solid foundation. I feel like that is definitely the month of April for you. It's like work on the foundation because once you get that solid foundation, things are just going to go up on top of that. Right. 
Um, and once it's, you know, when it, when you know that it's solid, a solid foundation, you're not worried, you know, that, that creates some of the, um, that eliminates some of the worry. All right. But I do feel like slow and steady is going to win the race for you. Slow and steady may frustrate you during this time, but slow and steady is going to be your friend. And I see a lot of things coming into formation. It's given the baby is cooking in the oven, but it's not ready to be born yet. This is what April is giving me. This is what um, this retrograde is showing me too. Like, and you may feel like you run into some restrictions karmically. You are going to run into some type of restriction because it's almost like the spirit is saying, okay, I want you to stay. I want you to stay in the, in between this realm. Okay. I don't want you to go out there because that ain't necessary. Like I'm trying to, you know, protect you and make sure you stay in this realm. You know, that's what's happening for you, Cancer. So when you run into those things, don't take it as frustration, even though it may feel frustrating and it may feel challenging and it may feel like, all right, like what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Because it's, you know, it's like it feels like it's working against you, but don't allow it to stop you, Cancer. Don't allow adversity to stop you. Remember what I said at the beginning? Dust yourself off. Try again. Might as well just put that, put that affirmation in your mind in um April, okay? Because that's gonna that's gonna be resonating for you. Dust yourself off and try again. All right, let me see. What unknown factors does cancer need to be aware of during this retrograde unknown factors cancer needs to be aware of so yeah look and you can't control the loss you can't control the loss cancer it shows up around you but this loss is not an l it's like you you win in the end okay there may be some type of um some of you yeah there's something that may have rejected you in the past cancer that's coming back around and you're gonna get the chance to decide if you want to revisit it or not um i feel like you know uh, with this five of cups energy, because that's what it's actually talking about. Chiron to the wounded healer is up here in your 10th, um, 10th house to cancer. That's what I was talking about. Um, you have some other things kind of working in your favor in this transit. Um, but that's where that wounded healer energy is basically making you figure out what is, um, what is holding you back in your career, right? What has you, what wounds have you acquired that are making you suffer in regards to your career? Okay, where have you felt some type of rejection? Where have you felt like you weren't enough? Where were those doubts, right? This is what I feel like, Um, one, you want to be aware of. It does, I, I'm just going to tell you, Cancer, we're going to feel this. We're going to feel this, but your girl be here. I'm going to be here the whole time we are gonna get through it i'm gonna hold your hand the whole time baby okay we gonna get through this cancer but there is just definitely um there's definitely some things that kind of need to be ironed out okay um this could definitely have some effect in regards to your money around the situation because there's new things ha there's transitions happening in your career okay how you make money so th this could cause a little bit of a transitional pause phase so just be aware of that okay cancer but remember that things are kind of out of your control don't try to control things in this moment don't try to control things during this transit cancer um but i feel like the big part of this energy is that retrograde this retrograde is gonna make you figure out where you have been sabotaging yourself and that's so and that's definitely been on my spirit y'all like i wanted to do a video about self-sabotage over on my personal channel but guess what i've been doing self-sabotaging my own self out of doing it and like this resonating for me so yeah Y'all, y'all gonna feel it too. I definitely feel like, and a lot of fives are showing up around you, Cancer. So it is going to bring a lot of change. If you've been having like trust issues around certain um, partnerships, connections, or whatever, those could come up, Cancer. You could find yourself even being a little more moody during this time too. But your patterns of, um, your patterns of sabotage and rejection and suffering all of that is it's being called to the hot seat cancer and that's what is that's what you need to be aware of you need to be aware of your doubts you need to be aware like and and more than aware of like oh i know i'm thinking that but getting down to the root of why you are thinking that or feeling that why you have that doubt okay so you know when when you're in this space and you're feeling like okay i i'm never gonna be debt free right 
That's what somebody might may say. That's what you could be thinking and being in this space. I didn't seen it down in my comment section. I would never, ever, ever claim that over my life and put energy out there like that. But you know, sometimes we we mess up and we do that. We get in a state, and it's okay that you can reverse it. It's not the end of the world. But be very, very mindful about the things that you speak and put out there. Okay, about your life and anyone else's. But, um, honey, clearly that had to be said because I don't lost I don't lost my train of thought, but. Uh, yeah, be mindful about what you say about yourself and your finances, putting yourself out there, cancer, because, and like your worth around it, like, but basically that's what I was saying. You need to get down to the root of why you feel like that. Why do you feel like you would never be, um, debt free, right? What about you? What about you? And because if you believe that, no matter how hard you don't want to believe that, if you truly believe that deep down, like in your, in your subconscious, you your subconsciously your world is going to form around what you believe because it's gonna it's gonna make you out to be a, a a a truth teller not a liar so if you believe in your heart of hearts your truth is that you'll never be debt free you will never be debt free you will never be debt free and even if even if you made all the money in the world if that is a core value of yours and it's rooted in you, you will you will still never be debt free. Okay, so be very mindful. I ain't gotta tell you to be mindful because honestly, it's gonna be put in your face. It's gonna be put in your face during this time, and you're gonna have to deal with it. You're gonna have to sit with it. If you want to work it out with me, you know you need some help kind of working through this and getting on the better side of it. Definitely reach out to me. I would love to connect with you and help um, help you with this cancer because yeah, I do feel like this is gonna be an interesting time for you okay but you gotta heal that unworthiness that you feel you gotta heal that unreadiness that you feel you gotta heal all of that that's what's happening during this time okay look as i said that shadow work wanted to pop out so yeah it's gonna be a you the man in the mirror looking at the man in the mirror doing some what are we talking about soul searching deep introspection all right it's time to evaluate so that's why you're gonna be in kind of hermit mode because yeah it's time to like talk to yourself okay um but let's see what's the outcome post retrograde for cancer what is the out Ooh, alchemy i love it so look um uh, and the energy the energy of nostalgia or memories is showing up so the past is definitely going to be re relevant you guys i feel like you could be missing someone or someone could be missing you and want to connect with you i'm definitely seeing an uptake in past life soulmates being connected during this time like i see that activation in regards to love happening for a lot of people under the cancerian energy so yeah we'll come back and talk about that a little more because actually venus is going to be moving into aries so we'll talk about that energy then because um yeah there's just so much going on already like i'm trying not to overload y'all but yeah cancer um this is a temperance card coming out so look temperance is what are you doing you're taking the challenges and things that you have been experiencing and all the things that are coming up the emotions that's why i said you could be moody okay um, and you are transmuting it. You're going to be able to transmute this and it's going to work in your favor in regards to your career, how you're putting yourself out there, how you're marketing yourself, what you are, what you are, um, able to give and offer to people. Okay. This is going to bring about another state of balance to where I said, remember that energy was kind of off and feeling like, you know, stop and go, stop and go. There's going to be balance brought back into, um, it's going to be restored at the end of this post retrograde, um, and see this alchemy energy like i said it's like you're making something it's like you're creating something it's like a mother cooking a baby in her stomach that's the energy of this alchemy like you are making things happen you're bringing things together you're forming it it's giving formation of businesses okay it's giving llc's and i'm i'm here for it cancer all right but all in all at the end of this after you do some shadow work and you start looking at the man in the mirror and you're able to pick your head up because that's what i don't like this energy where cancer got their head down they sad uh, but i understand you gotta you gotta i'm not telling you not to feel because you gotta feel i want you to have those things come up because you really have to address some cancer you know it could feel like a very lonely time i'm here for you okay reach out to me if you need me um but cancer it, at the end of it i'm telling you if i know y'all hear milo behind me look he here for you too clearly okay all that shaking back there. But anyway, um, you are going to definitely 
um, feel better at the end of this, okay? We are going to get through this and you're going to feel better because of it, all right? You're going to feel at a state of balance. And I love that the butterflies are showing up around here too. And you see how, look, it's like she's in a storm, but the storm is like passing, clearing out, and the butterflies are there. That's what's happening with this retrograde. It can feel like a storm because, yeah, that's what it's giving. It's the same kind of energy, all right, that keeps showing up. But you see how her head is lifted in this sense? Because the storm is being lifted too, okay? Know that this storm or these challenges that you're going to experience are coming to help you, Cancer. They are not here to hurt you. They are here to help you. I'm just going to pull from this deck a couple cards because I wanted to use it. I won't ask the same questions, but yeah, look, um, divine timing is trying to slide out. So believe in divine timing during this time. If something's not happening in the time frame that you want it to, you know, that's ego. And sometimes it gets in the way and we forget about divine timing. I know divine timing sounds cl so cliche and people don't like hearing it, but um everything happens in its due time cancer all right divine timing detach and move on is here so there may be something in your career business 10th house related that you need to detach and move on from okay this could be a way of thinking um a way of being a way of doing in your business career job whatever it may be time to to move on all right move on to something better and this could look like you know you moving but um like literally you're moving but you're moving on to bigger better things and more joyful things that's why i'm telling you you kind of i'm picking up on the misery cancer i'm not trying to i'm not trying to claim it like you're gonna be miserable um but i am you know i'm realistic you are gonna feel some kind of way during this time but know that you're moving towards your joy okay in due time you will you will reach your joy all right so this is a good time to visualize affirm and manifest i wanted to just slide out right here that would be helpful during this time. It's kind of like knowing that at the end of it, you know, everything is going to be A-OK -okay and fine. It's like keeping that in your mind, visualizing how everything is going to turn out for the best bet for you. You know, visualizing, affirming that, like believing that, standing on that, believing nothing else about it, no matter what the situation looks like, no matter what anybody else tries to tell you, believing that, OK, and standing on that. Let's pull one final message here. I think just one more for Cancer and during this retrograde spirit. Oh, no. Okay. But anyway, I'm sorry. I did not mean to say oh, no to y'all, but um, have faith. So, look, yeah, have faith, Cancer. I feel like your faith is definitely going to be tested. Remember, I said your hope. You know, um, your aspirations, your dreams could kind of feel a little tainted, but keep the faith. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in yourself. And I feel like say a big yes to the universe, to this new opportunity that spirit is trying to open up to you. Um, clear quartz may be a nice uh, crystal to work with. Seal and I even to <clears throat> remember to focus on self-care. Um, but I feel like having faith in yourself, too. That's what spirit is saying. But I feel like, you know, um, let's read the additional message for have faith. But I feel like matters of faith in yourself, too, are going to be important during this time. Um, cancer, look. And we went right to it. So this one, it says this message, the, uh, excuse me, this message says that this one is a kind, kind of hard to master. But the universe is calling for you to stop being a doubting Debbie. Okay, sorry to all the Debbies out there, but ha and have a little faith. It is super difficult to have confidence in what you can't see, and the universe gets that. However, comma, spirit is asking you to trust that on the other side of this situation, on the other side of this retrograde, okay, um, there is a miracle that's waiting for you, and it's divine time, all right? You are being coaxed to set up, to step out of paranoia, paranoia and the belief that things are going to blow up in your face and move um and move into pro pronoia okay what's pronoia you ask it's the belief that the universe is conspiring for your highest good in all ways at all times always allow yourself to see and believe that everything that happens to you is for you and that your prayers have been heard all right in fact this card is here to let you know that the answer to your prayers and wishes is already on its way 
Don't lose hope right now, Cancer, all right? Right before it blossoms into your reality. This is an affirmation that you can keep with you during this time. It says, I know and I believe that the universe is conspiring to make my life magical every second of the day. So I want you to, I, all the frustrations that may come up, all the challenges, adversities that may come up during this time, Cancer, during this retrograde, I want you to know and believe in your heart of hearts and tell yourself when you start to doubt it that the universe, things are working in your favor. It's conspiring to work things out in your favor. It's conspiring to give you the career that you really want. It's, it's conspiring. It's like it really, really wants to give you what you want, but you're really kind of working against it. But now we're finna, we're finna get that out. We're finna, we finna work that up out of you. Okay, Cancer? That's what's going on here. I'm excited. I'm excited. I know it's going to be an interesting time. Like I said, I'm here. I love y'all. I'm here if you need me. We're going to be linked in, clocked in. We are tapped in. We're going to get through it together. Of course, check out my website. You guys, these, uh, these are perfect times to get, you know, a little update on the energy around you, which you may need to be looking out for, all of that good stuff. Um, so definitely check me out if you want to get a personal reading, do a one-on-one -on -one session, all of that good stuff, you guys. Or if you need help getting past some of this stuff that's holding you back, reach out to me. I want to help you with that, okay? But I'm going to leave it here, boo. Okay? In the meantime, in between time, until next time. I